Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a video I haven't done in a little while and that is my uh, first, not first impressions, what am I saying? My reaction to Katie's night one being a bachelorette. Yep, I'm so excited. So this is gonna be like just how what I think of the guys, what I think of the first episode, and I also have a top four, I think. I think. Um, just like my guesses and all that kind of stuff. This will be up Saturday um, and it aired Monday night so I give you guys some time to like you know watch it <laughs> and it is on Hulu just so you guys know if you didn't already know that. But I love The Bachelor, Bachelorette, the whole thing. Obviously there's been tons of issues. I think I talked about it back like the end of last season um, and obviously they were making a lot of changes like Chris Harrison is gone for good which I'm not upset about. I honestly didn't miss him at all um, but I have a lot of opinions about night one so let's just get into it. So I wrote it all down so if I'm looking down I'm looking at my notes. Um, so first things first I really like Katie. I think that she's great. I liked her from last season. Um, I don't know who like everyone who thought she was like a bully like what what what? She obviously was standing up for people. I think she made the most sense. She's relatable. Um, I really like her a lot. So when they announced her, I was definitely happy. I'm also happy it's gonna be Michelle next. I really like Michelle as well. I think Katie was a good choice. I think that her being so sex positive is nice. Um, I read something online that was like, Caitlyn walked so Hannah B could run so that Katie could something else. <laughs> um, anyways, I also put that her back must hurt from forcing good posture for all those hours standing there waiting for the guys to come in. She's wearing heels. Like, I would be dying. I'd be like, give me a chair. And then I wrote, honestly, I'm not missing Chris Harrison. The only weird part about him not being there was the commercial at the end. Um, like, when the episode ended and they were like, here, stay tuned for the highlights from the rest of the season. Like, that voice was weird. Like, who's doing that voice? That should have been like, Tisha or Caitlyn. Just like a random person. That's the only thing that like threw me off. I'm gonna go through my list. Um, I made this list kind of how they came out throughout the night. Um, all the guys and kind of what I think of them and all that good stuff. So first, Connor B is the math teacher. They showed him first, like his little interview first. And he was the one who was dressed up as the cat, which honestly, like I'm all about too. Like I know it's probably a turn off for some people, but I'm very much a Katie in the fact that I'm a cat person. So I think that was cute. I think he really went all out. I think he's like a little bit nerdy but like he's a math teacher and like I think it's cute and I think that they seem to mesh well. It was also super obvious that she liked him because for a while like when they were sitting and talking before they kissed um, it seemed like she had trouble looking him in the eye and I think that's because she was nervous and she liked him. I really like him and he is in one of my top four. Next is Greg who we all love. Yes Greg he's so cute and he seemed to really like her. Um, although I there's a part of me thinks it's too good to be true like the guy that's so great night one like is he really gonna be that great all throughout? I don't know but he's really cute and what's so exciting is that he's actually from me, from me, from my state. He's from New Jersey and he actually, the town Edison is where they said he's from. It's real close to me, like five years ago, not five years ago, two, two years ago when I was single, I could have been dating him. Like what? That's so crazy. Like I don't think there's ever been someone on this show that has come from somewhere so close to where I live. I just think it's cool. I liked him a lot, but we'll see. I feel like it's not gonna, like he's not gonna end up being as great as he is now. Next is Andrew S, the football player. He's the one who um, has been playing football in Austria and he I guess knows how to speak German. He did the fake English accent which I thought was cute. I really liked his interview before he came out and I liked when he talked to her but the interviews he did like throughout the first night like he gave me villain vibes like he just talked a lot about like winning and like the other people and it just gave me kind of like bad vibes so he is in my top four um at the moment because i do feel like they had some chemistry but i don't know he's giving me villain vibes like maybe he's gonna be the person that like she likes that other people don't like i don't know and then we have justin who's the guy who she also kissed i think she was he was the first one she kissed the guy who was painting um i don't know i like him enough but the painting thing like you painted some roses like oh how original <laughs> like i don't know um i think that he was kind of cheesy and to me he seemed really rehearsed like i feel like everything he said sounded like he had written it down and memorized it so he just wasn't my favorite. 
Next we have Carl. He's the one who's traveling a lot. He's a motivational speaker. Um, he is the one from the commercial. It looks like he's the one who says, like, I came here for the followers. Yeah, so we already know how we feel about that. He did get a rose, obviously, because he has to say that at some point. So he's a motivational speaker, but like how? Like what What makes him worthy of being a motivational speaker? Like what motivated him? Like what did he accomplish that people would want to go and pay to hear him speak? Like what is that? Next is Brendan, who's the one from Canada, the firefighter. I wrote he has really tall hair and to me he seems like an adult child like he's an adult but like he looks like a child so that's what I wrote. I'm going through all the people with roses first by the way. Um, everyone who didn't get a rose is at the end of my list. Next is Mike. He's a baseball player. He's the one I think he owns a gym now. Um, he was wearing a very tight suit. I wrote that he... what did I write? That he would have been my type like five years ago. Like just the way he looks. But he also I think is the one who's the virgin so he better just tell her like he should have told her night one like oh that just drives me crazy it's kind of like the whole Madison thing with Peter like she should have told him way sooner knowing what she knew like he knows that Katie's very sex positive and he's like oh I'm down for that whatever but like you really think she's gonna want to not have sex before getting married like dude just like why like ugh, do we need another virgin storyline like ugh. this is Trey <laughs> <clears throat> she obviously liked him but like ugh, I don't know in his interview I felt like he was talking himself up a lot like I felt like he was like oh I like rap but I also speak Latin and I do this and I do that and I just felt very like I don't know not, not villainy but like very like stuck up in or like like full of himself like he's like oh I'm I'm so diverse like I like this stuff and this stuff that's so opposing like well, I, like I don't know I don't know I, didn't, I wasn't a fan. He was one who had the balls in the back of the truck. Um, and I don't know, he just to me seems like he's the type of person that wants to be like the lead. Like he wants to be like, I'm such a good catch. You know? Um, and I also wrote that he seems like they don't have chemistry to me. Like I know she picked him to stay and everything, but I feel like to me, like they're gonna be friends. And like when she does send him home, it's gonna be like, you know, I like you, but there's no chemistry. Thomas, he was the first out of the limo. I so I said he seems tall. He got deep fast. It was kind of intense, but he seemed sweet. Aaron, I thought he was really cute at first. I really did. I thought that he was adorable and he looked like a like a grown Disney Channel star. I don't know, he seemed so nervous when he first got out and was talking to her, but he switched so fast. He went to talk about the other guys and he was the one that got in a fight with that one guy and was like, I just don't like you. Like it's night one. What are you talking about? Like, maybe they knew each other before, like, that's the vibe I got, that he was like, I've never liked you, like, it's, you've been there one night, what are you talking about? So, and we also, uh, what name did she say? There was a, the preview for the rest of the season, she said, she ran up to someone and, like, they were leaving or something, I can't remember if it was Aaron or Andrew, ugh, I don't know. Okay, next, Andrew M. I said, he gives me really weird vibes, and I swear he's been on this show before. Then we have David, he was confident and he's from New York. Obviously, he didn't make a big impression on me. Michael, um, I wrote he seems a little bit nerdy. Maybe he's Italian. He brought a gift. Um, oh, it was the watch from the airport. Uh, he is also the one with the son. Now, I always like struggle with this because as soon as the person who has a kid tells the lead who doesn't have a kid that they do, they're like, oh my god, they like came all the way here and left their kid for me. But they never end up picking them. So it just kind of bums me out that like they, they like, keep them there for a few weeks and then they send them home and like I know they have to figure it out and stuff like that but I don't know it just it, it bums me out because like now that person's left their kid for longer and they didn't end up with them. It's just sad. I didn't put him in my top four. I don't think he's gonna last that long and that's what bums me out. Next is John. He's a bartender but he has very shiny hair but he also seems like a baby. He seems so young and then underneath that I wrote how are any of these guys ready for an engagement? First of all Katie's 30. I'm 28 and when I was dating like out in the world dating and I didn't have a boyfriend um I was very like no one I met was ready for an engagement in what is it six to eight weeks or something like no one was ready for even to be like in a relationship like I mean I think the amount of time my boyfriend and I were together before we became like official is the amount of time that they know each other on this show like it's just so crazy and all these guys was there one guy over 30 I don't know and next Garrett 
I wrote Ginger, Genuine, and Sweet. Josh, he said he was there for her and nervous, but he seemed boring. And then there was someone who on the screen, I swear it said Connor S, but she said Connor C when she called him. So I could be wrong, maybe she was wrong, I don't know. Um, he's the one who had the baseball glove, that he was catching feelings, I thought that was pretty cute. Um, his intro was very quick, but I said, I think they mesh well. Um, so he might stick around a while, and there's Kyle who brought the underwear. Hunter, um, he brought the fish, he said something, oh yeah, he's the one, did I write that? Oh, he's short, that's what I wrote. Um, he said in when all the guys were in the room before she came in I think or maybe it was after he said something about like I'm just waiting for the drama to happen like why would you even bring that up unless you're going to be involved in the drama like you don't say that you're not even thinking about it you know next James he was the one in the, the present or the gift or whatever he was wearing a three-piece suit and to me he seemed slimy I don't know like however it was like oh like look at him blah 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 like yeah he seemed like a little like I don't know I didn't like him then we have Cody which literally is the name of a small child um he's the one who brought the blow-up doll which I get like it's the guy version of the vibrator only like weirder and everyone I remember online I read someone was tweeted about like oh my god if he brings like what is it like a handheld vagina <laughs> like Oh my god, imagine. Yeah, I don't know. I just, ugh, I don't know. Christian, he said something about a genie and rubbing one out. I thought that was more appropriate for like, to be equivalent with what she did. Um, he's from Boston and he's cute. And I put that I could see him being on Paradise. And then Courtney with Q, he has tall hair, I wrote. And that he said he was looking forward to the quest. And to me, he also, like, all the puns he had, like, he memorized what to say. And I, I mean, I guess that's cute because you're, like, putting the effort in. But, like, I don't know. If you're putting, if you're memorizing what to say, like, you're not being very genuine, are you? I wrote, it looks like Blake from Claire and Tasha's season shows up. Um, it does look like that from the previews. He could stick around. I do think he might actually be good for her. Um, but I get the feeling it'll be kind of like a Nick thing, like how Nick came in later and then Caitlyn almost picked him but didn't and I swear that's what's gonna happen here. Like they're gonna bring Blake in like five weeks in, all the guys are gonna hate him but she's really gonna like him and let him stay and then like he's gonna make it to like the top three or something and she's gonna pick someone else. That's just the vibe I'm getting. So yeah, my top four, I think, Connor B, which is the cat math teacher, Greg, the guy who got the first impression rose, Andrew S, the football player who had the fake accent in the Beginning and Justin the guy who was painting so those are my top four at the moment but I'm getting the vibe that where is he Aaron the guy who got in that stupid fight I think she's gonna like him I think things are gonna go far with them or like he's gonna be her oh, I don't know how long you guys have been watching this show but if you remember um Tiara is that what her name was from Sean's season I think it was um I think that she that Aaron's gonna be Katie's Tiara. That's my vibe. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you got like any weird vibes from people. Um, do you think this is gonna be a good season? I'm happy with it. Oh, I also want to mention I like that Tasha and Caitlyn are there for her. I like that it's them instead of Chris Harrison. I think that that's a thing they should keep doing instead of just having the same people constantly host. It would be cool to have someone else from the like franchise who's been through it before there to guide the person who's doing it and also someone they know i think this is a good way to do it i think it's cool i'm very excited to keep watching and i think katie is a good choice so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um let me know what you think in a comment below and make sure you subscribe to see more for me